this uh, video, which is concerned in the uh, radiographic detection of periodontal disease, and in this uh, video, uh, <coughs> we are going to have an idea about the predisp uh, predisposing factors for uh, periodontal uh, disease. Uh, uh, at least those that can be uh, tracked or traced or interpreted from the radiograph and uh, as you know uh, one of the very important uh, um, um, disposing factor disposing factors actually in the process of uh, periodontal disease whether in initiating or uh, 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 promoting the periodontal disease is the presence of food debris uh, that will start in the beginning as a uh, uh, soft soft debris and then they will start to uh, of course calcify by the different effects of uh, calcium deposition from the food <coughs> uh, and the saliva uh, and uh, these will after calcification they will develop <coughs> uh, uh, they will calcify and will harden and will stick to the uh, teeth and they will form calculus deposits and calculus deposits are <coughs> very important uh, in uh, promoting the uh, periodontal uh, disease. Uh, radiographic uh, detection of calculus actually um, the best radiographic view that uh, would show you the uh, calculus deposits at least in the early uh, formation before they get bigger and bigger and they will be very uh, clear uh, is a good uh, quality bite-wing radiograph so as you can see here in this radiograph calculus deposits typically typically they will appear as a triangular uh, bony uh, triangular radio opaque projections sorry that are located so they will appear as a triangular uh, radio opaque projections that are located exactly underneath the uh, cement or enamel junction. Uh, those uh, uh, will be uh, like at uh, triangular projections. The base of this triangle is uh, uh, stuck to the tooth surface while the apex of that triangle, radio opaque uh, triangle, is directed outwards. Uh, as you can see in this bite wing radiograph of the premolars and molars, you can see this typically uh, looking triangular uh, radio opaque projection which is located at the uh, distal surface of the first mole. Another radiograph that would show uh, different uh, calculus depositions, however, uh, this is a periapical radiograph which also plays a part in the detection of the uh, uh, calculi or the calculus in the uh, in the oral cavity especially when they are initial of course they can be detected by the passing of a probe uh, along the mesial and the distal surfaces of the teeth just below the contact points uh, in this per, uh, per radiograph you can see calculus deposits that the typical triangular projection in the distal surface of the uh, third molar and the mesial surface of the second molar and the distal surface of the first molars uh, first molar uh, 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 take a note please here is that whenever calculus is present in this uh, in the initial and in its initial stage you would expect that there is a periodontal uh, reaction at least radiographically uh, which is characterized by the loss of the normal anatomy of the alve um, alve uh, alveolar uh, bony crest so it will not longer assume its horizontal uh, or flat surface and uh, it, uh, the presence of calculus will initiate an acute process so you would expect the uh, the uh, uh, 
surface of the uh, articular bone to be uh, to start to lose its homogeneity and you will see areas of pitting and irregularities pitting and irregularities in the inter uh, at the crystal bone at the interproximal area is an indication of an actively uh, ongoing process of uh, periodontal disease uh, this usually goes side and side w with the uh, um, uh, with the presence of calculus, with the presence of other uh, uh, predisposing factors like caries, open contacts, uh, uh, any area or any um, condition that would initiate or would favor the uh, the um, uh, retention of food, and thus. Uh, of course, uh, accompanied by negligence of the oral hygiene, uh, so it will lead to the uh, calcification of those fo uh, the, the debris and the plaque, of course, and this will subsequently end up with calculus formation, as you can see in this area. So there is a, 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 an ongoing, actually, uh, process of uh, periodontal disease that has started already by the uh, improper uh, oral hygiene and the failure to remove the food uh, deposits uh, which c collect and gather uh, more uh, 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 factors that would uh, uh, that would promote the uh, periodontal uh, process <coughs> Another radiograph, and this bitewing radiograph, you can see again the typical positioning of the calculus uh, just exactly beneath the cemento enamel junction uh, and the interproximal uh, uh, embrasures or the dental embrasures, and they will all uh, assume the uh, characteristic uh, triangular. Uh, radio opaque projections. You can see it in this uh, bitewing radiograph, uh, located in many uh, on many surf surfaces of t uh, this teeth. You can find it on the distal surface of the first molar. You can find it on the mesial surface of the uh, first molar. Uh, you can find it on the uh, distal surface of the second premolar. You can see it also on the mesial surface of the uh, second premolar and on the distal surface of the first premolar as well as the its presence on the mesial surface of the first premolar and the distal surface of the canine. I did not mark the presence of caries on the uh, lower teeth. I want you to have a look and try to detect the presence of caries, uh, sorry, the presence of uh, calculus on different surfaces of the lower teeth and I would like you also to notice that whenever calculus is present there is a, a, a process of uh, bone loss uh, is concurrent with the presence of the uh, caries in uh, this region add to it uh, the uh, any uh, the other uh, uh, factors that would uh, initiate and promote the uh, periodontal disease uh, process.